Good morning, this is Laura McLean, your beauty control spa lady. Um, I have people all the time ask me, you know, what, what beauty control makeup do you wear? What colors do you wear? And um, so for the 1,339 consultants on my team and all of the hundreds of clients that I have, I thought I would just um, do some time saving and go ahead and do my makeup um, on video this morning. So now you see how good beauty control is. <laughs> this is before. And what you're going to see, I'm going to pull my hair back so that I can um, actually get all this on without getting it in my hair. What you can see that the 10 years of being a band director did for me, no sunscreen, <laughs> is we've got, um, and these are so much better than they used to be, but we've got quite a bit of sun damage age spots and even a patch right here that after I got pregnant with Luke, it got darker and darker and um, I had almost microdermed it off, but it's back after all of that hormonal stuff, which when you do get pregnant and you're breastfeeding, it does um, tend to get darker, any spots that you have on your body, especially sunspots. So now what I have on is my 20 SPF moisturizer. I also have a product that we use called DNA. It's amazing. You have to ask me about it, but I, this is about makeup. Um, but I wanted to show you my regimen. The only thing I haven't gotten on yet, and I'm going to put on, is our under eye dark circle and puffy solution. This is just pure caffeine. Skin safe, skin safe caffeine for the bags and the dark circles that we get underneath our eyes. And I put that on every day. By the time I put my makeup on, you will see I will not have that fluid retention and I will not have the darkness there. So starting, um, and I'm just going to do my quick makeover. It's not, I'm, I'm leaving off about three or four primers because I just want to make this short and sweet so you can watch it, is my Face Perfection Foundation. Our liquid foundations, and um, we have three different formulas, and I can tell you about them, but this one is 25. It is water-based, so it's great for people that still have combination skin, even in their mid-40s like me. It does come... Um, be applied with or just made to be applied with a foundation brush and if you've never used one they're like a they're like a paintbrush but you're going to be able to instead of putting this on a sponge where it's going to go in a dark um, drawer wet and grow mildew <laughs> and soak all your products up and waste them you put one drop and literally you're going to be able to see me I'm going to try to go left from right and not um, put the product down in my pores or shove it up in my pores, you're gonna be able to see me get half of my face done with one drop. So that's one advantage of using a professional, um, a professional foundation brush with your liquid foundation is you won't use as much and you'll get an even lighter um, application. So you can see, we've got this window here, it might be too much light for you to see, but you can see the coverage and this is my worst side with all my dots and spots. One more drop and then I'll do the same thing on this side. And over here I've got some redness. I don't know what that's about, who knows. I wake up on a, with a different problem every day now that I'm in the mid 40s. I love this Face Perfection Foundation. If you're a love liquid makeup but you need a heavier coverage because your skin is super dry, we have one for you and it even has a little bit of our Botox in it. Not that anybody watching this would have a line or a wrinkle, but if you did, we have the answer. It's a line filler. It inflames where your lines are, plumps them up. I'm gonna put a little tiny dot right there just because I have some hormonal stuff going on down here and above my lip line. And then I'm gonna use that same drop to do my nose. And it's just super quick. Like I'm probably taking way too much time with it. Then on that forehead, I'll do another half drop. So basically four drops of this stuff. So you can see where before when I was using even this product with a sponge, I have to admit I was running out of it in three months. Now it lasts four to five months because I'm just not using that much product. I'm not wasting it. Now, that's that. That's a good overall base. Now, I do one more thing with my foundation. I use our Perfecting Wet Dry. This is our mineral makeup. You can put it on with a powder brush for a more natural look, but it is a true mineral. It is 
Vegan Drill's number one foundation. I'm going to put it on today with a sponge just simply because I'm not going to get have time to touch up and I don't like to touch up with my sponge. I like to put this on, cover all my spots and dots. It gives me another uh, layer of um, coverage. Also, this formula absorbs oil. So if you're still combination or even oily, you'll love this because you will not see your oil throughout the day. Also, if you work outside or if you sweat a lot, if you're a sweater, it'll help you in that area. And I just go all over with it. And that's it. Now, my next step, and that's also 25, by the way, there is a way to get this foundation brush for free. And it's the same brush that Bobby Brown uses. I think theirs is $85. But you can get this foundation brush for free when you buy the liquid foundation and the wet dry to get today's look that I'm doing. So let me know. The next thing we're going to do is eyes. Um, this is my secret weapon. I actually, um, the day I had Luke, my eye makeup was the only thing intact when it was all over with because of this magic cream. It is our foundation. Uh, foundation to our eyeshadow. It's called Shadow Control Cream. Comes in three colors. Most women use the taupe. And it doesn't really have a color. You just put it on each finger. It's one, two, three seconds, and you're done. And what I wanted you to know about this is your eyeshadow will not crease if you have started to have creeping lids, lids that um, are not as firm. <laughs> And when you apply things to them, they wrinkle and crinkle and fold over on each other. This you will love. And it absolutely, it's not really a color. It just um, helps the eyeshadow to adhere to it and to stay on a superficial level, not sink down in your cracks and crevices. Make your eyes look old. It makes your eyes look younger. And what I love about it is before, I touched my eyes so much, it's just like an allergy thing, that before I used it, I actually... By noon, my eyeshadow was gone, and now my eyeshadow comes off when I wash my face at night. So the next thing, I'm going to put my shadow on. My today's pick is called All Natural, and it's a trio. I don't know if you can see that, but you'll see it on my eyes. And there's there's a, a highlighter color, there's a base color for the lids, and then there is the accent color that I'm going to make my sideways V with and get all smoky-eyed. So with the first color, you actually load your brush, and this is a beauty control brush too, I love it until it's worn out. And instead of smoothing it on, which most of it will go in your hair and in the air, I'm gonna blow the excess powder off and I'm just gonna pack that to into where it goes. I'm actually pushing the brush into my brow line. And this is just what Beauty Control's makeup artist taught me a long time ago, and I love it. I'm gonna do it for this one too. I'm going to pack that highlighter color, and your highlighter color is going to be your light, light, lightest one in your trio, okay? And it actually will make your eyes look open and bigger if you use it correctly and in, in the right spot. I should have had my big kabuki powder brush here with me to pick up my crumbles. And then that middle color, you're simply going to do the same thing with all over the bottom lid. Just pack it over. So simple. And this again is going to open the eye up, especially when you have a little bit of lightness right there in the middle. I'm going to make sure that I get that middle right above the color of my, my pupil. There you go. Not looking like much now, but it will. I promise. And then we have the highlighter color. So this is not taking long at all. Again, load the brush and blow it off. I'm going to pack this into the crease of my eye, which means the part that disappears when I open my eyes. I'm just pushing the color all the way across there and both sides, and then I'll show you how we blend. Pack it, pack it, pack it. You can do this with anybody's eyeshadow. Doesn't have to be the best, beauty control. <laughs> I will tell you that our eyeshadow, what makes it special, it's mineral based. So again, it's not gonna sit down in, uh, in your cracks. Then I'm gonna bring that color down into my lash line, and then I'm gonna bring that color up. This is my blending process. I just tapped my brush to get all of the excess color off, and I am blending, blending, blending. You don't wanna see any lines. You wanna go ahead and smudge that all together, and you don't want to go into that light part right there above my eye. 
because you want that there. That's what's going to reflect light and bring attention to your eyes. Okay. Again, down on this side with that color that I made and then up all the way across. I don't want any lines, but I don't want to go all the way across here on the bottom because I want my little light to reflect. So simple. Didn't get real dramatic with that because all I'm doing today is picking up kids, okay? The next step, of course, I'm going to do my brows. My brows are lighter than my hair color because I tried to go back to my natural hair color but ended up a little bit darker this time. And your eyebrows need to be one to two shades darker than your hair color, okay? Whatever you have chosen that month to have your hair color. What I love about this precision brow pencil, I think it's $16, is, um, it has a very tiny, and it's self-sharpening, you just roll it up, um, tip, and so that I can go ahead and add, and it's almost like it's tiny enough you can draw hairs, okay? So draw your hairs where they are not dark enough, and anywhere you have bald spots. Our eye brow is literally the, the picture frame for our eyes. If you don't have them, people will not notice your eyes. And if you do have them, like what I'm fixing to show you, your eyes will be noticeable, stand out. And if you don't believe me, I'm taking the other end off because we have a precision comb to blend that. So it blends in with your normal hairs. And then I'll look natural. I just want you to look, see if I can do this. I just want you to look at this side of my face, this eye, now look at this eye. And you can look at them straight on and tell there is a huge difference. Um, your, your eye is drawn to this side of my face and not this side, because I haven't fixed it yet, okay? So let me go ahead and do that. I have an, a big beauty control mirror over here that I'm looking at because my computer is throwing light. Who knows what I'm gonna look like today when I get finished with this tutorial. And then let's use the other end and comb it through. And that just blends it in. And because we do not want to look like we painted our eyebrows on. Never a good look for anybody. Okay, now you're starting to see more of my eye color instead of my eye area because I highlighted that. I defined that and it does make a big difference. And sometimes I even go back with that lighter color if I didn't get it all the way up there. And I'll do that just to make sure it got highlighted. I do that a lot, I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to put our defining eyeliner on. Our eyeliners and our lip liners are now waterproof. Woohoo! I cry a lot, especially on the first week of school. I found myself doing that. Here's the tip about eyeliner that I have for you. If you do have green or hazel eyes, you always want to wear either the espresso or the black. Okay, I'm going to put black on today. But another um, option for hazel eyes is, of course, we have a beautiful one, and it's actually called amethyst. I don't know if you can see that, but it is a smoky purple and it doesn't go on the skin purple it goes on the skin it's kind of like a gray smoky with like a little grape in it but I go ahead because it really brings out the green in your eyes if you have any green in your eyes and you can either use that uh, amethyst pencil or you can highlight with it you're gonna have a super stoked green come out here's the rule about any eyeliner color that you choose the thinner the line the more fresh and awake you look. The thicker the line, more tired and heavy and pulled down you're gonna look. So actually, I just take the corner, because I am 40 something, and I pull it out, which stretches that skin just a hair, not enough to cause a wrinkle. I don't wanna do that. And on this side, I don't have to do it. But on that side, I do. Okay, and then I'm gonna come in and just make sure. Don't you love how these glide on? There's not rolling, there's, not, there's no drama to this putting this eyeliner on. And you can sketch if you do have, I find it easier on my clients that do have heavy lids that have started to show age, just to sketch little 
feathery light lines. And then if you're young, you can just roll that sucker on. That's it. On the bottom, I am going to go, and the rule about the bottom is wherever you have hair, you get to put eyeliner. If your lashes stop halfway, you can stop halfway too, because it's gonna be a more natural look. And I just think your eye area, everyone's, God made everybody's eyes so beautiful and so unique. And um, I just think, I've never met a pair of eyes I didn't love. And so I think that with your eyes, you just want to, you don't want your makeup to take away from them. You want to, them to accent. Now, because I have that brown, which is on the opposite end of the color wheel from green, it because my eyes are very hazel. They're a mixture of brown and green. They have some yellow looking color in them and a blue ridge around them. It's, it's just a plethora of whatever. But because I have that brown on them, now they, now they look more green. See that? See that? I'm going to take the amethyst now and actually go, and I won't get carried away, but I'll go right on the top, right above that black line, not to make it thicker in the middle, but just on the outside, and a little bit right here, just to smudge that black. And you're gonna see them get greener, okay? Just an extra thing you can do, if you have it. Okay, so all of those pencils that are waterproof are 15. The next thing we're gonna do is we are going to finish our eyes with our 3D mascara. It is $26 and it's like four, to five months supply. Of course, we know we're supposed to throw our mascara away every three months and when we get a cold because <laughs> we reinfect ourselves. But with your um, 3D mascara, what I love about this, it has no fibers, no fillers, no mess. You're not going to see creepy things down here throughout the day. And you can either put one coat on. It's kind of hard to do looking at my computer. Or you can put two coats on. And you may see me jerking. I'm making Z formations. If you just go straight out from the base of your lashes, like this, in straight motions, you're only gonna cover about 40% of your lashes. But if you'll go from the root and zigzag out, man, you'll see here in a minute. I have no lashes at all, but when I zigzag, I sure do. Okay. So that's like one coat. I'm gonna let that dry. Now I'm gonna do the bottom. I may be doing this wrong, but this is how I do my mascara. And I always put my mouth down like that weird, that weirdness. While I'm letting that dry, I'm doing the other eye. We always multitask, don't we? Except we think we're good at it and we're not. So, everything I've talked about so far is either a four, or a five month supply. I wanted you to know that. Like the foundation, it's 25. That may be a medium price point to you, but how many ounces you get in it is significantly larger than the most significantly, I said that word, uh, more than most liquid foundations you're gonna pick up at Walgreens, Walmart, or Dillard's counter. And what you're going to find is it's going to last twice as long. So that 25 is actually about $6 a month. $6 a month I would spend on a great foundation. Because let's face it, you can cheat with some other stuff. Not a foundation. Foundation is your foundation. <laughs> it's going to make everything else look good or not. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there. I'm just doing one coat today. I don't want to look like a spider picking em uh, Emily and Luke up. Um, plus I'm lazy. Okay, let's just put that out there. What I chose to de go to with today is, and I do have a bag full of color for the lips, but this is our liquid lip color. What I love about it is it's made with, um, it's, a, it's a matte color. It goes on creamy and it dries. It's a matte, but it, oh my gosh, it's so creamy. It is made with sunflower, uh, waxes, jojoba, and something else I can't remember, but it is so moisturizing and it's 18. I'm gonna put my, my waterproof lip, and this is not so tame, what we're wearing today. Little tip about um, lip liner, you want to do this, and do this. That's called the Cupid's bow. Do your Cupid's bow first, then do the bottom part next. And I got that crazy. Is that cute? <laughs> This is how you get a symmetrical lip. 
because when you start rolling just from one end to the other, what this pencil is going to do is it's going to roll to the inside of your lip and you're going to have a thin lip. And nobody likes thin lips. We like full lips. After you do this, then you're going to start from the corner and meet going down and up. Watch this. Huh, 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 huh. See? How easy that was? And then you can go down if you want to. And same thing right here. Now some of you don't line. You don't have to line with this liquid uh, lip color and you don't have to line with our magnetic lipsticks. My most popular one seller being raisin. Look at that yumminess. That's my raisin and it's beautiful. I'm wearing this today though. This is not so tame. And what you're gonna find is that's gonna stay on. See how white my teeth are? If you have the right lip color on, your teeth get whiter. <laughs> and your eye, your whites of your eyes do too. But um, if you want an ombre look, don't. Don't purse your lips much. Leave that liner a shade darker. And of course, if you want a real ombre look, you can come back with a lighter um, color, which this one's Pink Ambition, and you can just go on the bottom inside. And that's ombre times two. I hope you've enjoyed this makeup tutorial. One quick thing I want to tell you about, um, and you'll notice I didn't put any blush. I didn't bronze, I didn't contour. I'll save that for another video because this is my just really fast thing. If you would have taken all that yapping and talking out, this would have been less than five minutes, okay? Um, but everything that I showed you is actually $210. If that's like the whole thing, 25 and $15 at a time, it adds up. But what I want to, you to know is you can just buy it by the piece and build up to your five minute face regimen. Um, you may have other products that you love in, in other brands, but you don't have a foundation or you don't have that mineral powder or maybe you don't have that mascara that's simple and fast and, and great results you can buy this by the piece you can also get the 210 package at a discount for $1.99 and get your foundation brush free on top of that for me anytime. You can have a spa escape, have me over and let me pamper five or six of your girlfriends and maybe do their makeup because we do relaxation spas and we do glam spas. You can do all of that um, hosting a, a spa will get you a huge discount. You end up getting it for $109.50 instead of $199.50. And then the third way you can get it is become a member of Beauty Control. And when you become a member of Beauty Control this month, the, that is on sale. Now I'm going to have a crinkle right there. But that membership package is on sale um, for everyone. And basically you join. You pay a small fee of $59, and that buys you a discount for life off things you're buying anyway. Look at all the stuff that you're going to buy every four to six weeks or every four to six months. So that 20 to 40% off savings is amazing for $59, but with that, you get our whole skincare regimen. You get started a lot from the inside out because no amount of great makeup is going to look good on bad skin. So um, with that $59, you get your whole skincare regimen and our skincare is all over $100. So that's a huge discount initially, but then you get a shopping spree. You get to, um, a 45% off shopping spree. I can show you how to redeem that by getting all of your makeup and you could basically get that 210 package for $109. 50 with that 45% off coupon that I'm going to show you how to redeem. You can let your friends and family in on it or you can just redeem it all yourself. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. Hope you learned something and you can play with your own makeup and I, I hope that I talked you into at least one of these products. And if you have any questions, you can text me or you can email me um, or just post below and I'll PM you and visit with you. Um, I hope you have a beautiful day.